My name's Paula Stone. I'm the Youth Cafe development worker for Bingley Youth Cafe. It's viewed as, as uh, Bingley Youth Cafe being needed because it was felt that there was more local youth provision needed in the Bingley and Bingley rural area. It provides something to do for local young people whilst also promoting positive images of young people. On a normal day you can see activities such as team building, recreational activities, we do confidence building exercises and music production short courses. In addition to this we do cook and eat and we do arts and crafts activities. For Halloween we've got a range of activities happening such as pumpkin carving, we're going to make pumpkin soup out of the leftover ingredients. We've got a Halloween party for young people and in the run up to that party young people are making their own Halloween decorations for the centre. Bingley Youth Cafe has made a difference to its centre users. There are several young people who already stay in the first nine weeks of the centre being open that the project's made a difference to their lives. One in particular has stated that through having a centre such as this, he's able to get away from more negative activities such as um, drug taking or misuse of alcohol and also he's been able to get information advice and guidance around such issues from the staff that are here. I like coming to the Bingley Youth Cafe because it's warm and it's better than being outside and it's also comfortable and safe. I come into Bingley Youth Cafe because there's free food and free cups of tea and it's warm. I like coming to the Bingley Youth Cafe because you can after school you can just come back and chill and you like make cups of tea and have like some toast and then on a weekend at like later on when it's dark you can come and like play Xbox and stuff. I like coming to Bingley Youth Cafe because it's somewhere to go, it's a warm place and bit, the staff here are really nice, friendly and good people to talk to. My name's Colbank Carr. My role um, at present is a leader in charge. I work in partnership with Bingley Youth Cafe. I'm actually employed by Bradford Youth Service. Today's activity for Halloween is we're going to experiment with lots of different vegetables and create um, a soup and we've also done face painting, we've made lanterns and on Friday we have a Halloween party. I think it's made a big difference, it's given young people a space that they can call their own, a space that they could come and relax and have a fun time with their friends. And at the same time, there's also lots of different activities they can engage in. So it, sometimes they're fun, sometimes they're educational. So it's a whole you know, array of different things they can take part in. So I think it's been quite important. This space is quite important to them. If the cafe wasn't here, most young people would be hanging around the streets and probably getting into trouble or being asked to move on by certain individuals. If I was to give some hints and tips to groups wanting to engage with young people, I would say first and foremost it's really important to get a clear idea of what's needed in the local area and uh, involving young people in that process is really important. Once young people are involved in such a process, you need to develop the ground rules with them. If young people have a sense of ownership on their project, participation will be a lot easier and also um, sustainability of the project will work better. Thanks to a grant of £499,000, Shipley and Bingley Voluntary Services were able to set up the Bingley Youth Cafe through Big Lottery Fund's Reaching Communities programme.